Hey guys, Captain Foley here. I am back from Wonderfest and it was, as always, a wonderful time. Um, this, however, this video is not the Wonderfest uh, video. I know you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, I've got a lot of footage and a lot of pictures from that and I haven't really had time since I got back to put that all together. So stay tuned for that soon. Also, the room, the ready room, is ready to get a full room tour. That will be a captain's log very soon as well. I've got a few lined up. So it's the Wonderfest one, just stay tuned. It'll be along very shortly. Uh, like I said, I got a lot of stuff to go through footage wise and picture wise that I want to show you guys. So, but today um, it's kind of bittersweet in a way. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's kind of important to me and uh, it, it's future. I've got, I've got this, I got the Pepsi Optimus Prime. Here he is here. This is the um, uh, Canadian version of the Pepsi Prime. There was an American version that had a much smaller little Pepsi sticker in the middle of the trailer. The Canadian one has the full size trailer one. Now, this was a contest sometime in the 80s where when you got the top off of a bottle of Pepsi, you pop it open, the, the little rubber thing inside, you know the things. And uh, on one half, you would have either have a right side or a left side of Optimus Prime's uh, body. And if you collected both, you, of course, won the Pepsi Optimus Prime, which is just a standard Optimus Prime, standard G1 Optimus Prime, but with the Pepsi sticker on the trailer. Now, there's only like 1,500 of them. They're super rare compared to the American version. The American Pepsi Primes are pretty common. Uh, but uh, this one I found 20 plus years ago. Uh, I took the kids uh, once to a, what is it? It was a tractor trailer RV show. And one guy had, was selling toys and stuff and he had the Pepsi Prime in truck form sitting on his display. Uh, and he had $80 on it. And I was like, oh, well, that's neat. I don't have an Optimus Prime. I might as well scoop one up. I was kind of disappointed because I figured he wouldn't have the, the fists or the, the stickers because they weren't put on. I mean, the only, the only sticker that was on was the one on the trailer. Because obviously this guy had... He, he had, The other toys he had were other trucks and things. So he obviously had his own display that he had in his house. And he liked Pepsi or tractor trailers. So he had this on his shelf, but he was getting rid of it. So, I talked him down to 50, I believe, um, which was a great deal. Got it out to the car, I was kind of disappointed, uh, opened it up, took a look, and inside the trailer was absolutely everything I needed. His fists, um, roller was in there, and the little gas, can the gas hose thing. Also, a sheet of stickers. So, I did, I did apply the stickers. I did throw the stickers on there, as you can see. So, I mean, I had to put the stickers on. I, I, I always wanted Optimus Prime, never got Optimus Prime. I've since made up for that. If you've seen downstairs uh, in my collection, I've got a whole two shelves of Optimus Primes. But this is still the only G1 Optimus Prime I have. Well, not that long ago, I met a person by the name of Bryce Rutledge who was doing a Transformers project that I'm not going to talk about right now. Um, but I had the opportunity to go and visit him. He lives in Stratford, which, as you guys know, I'm from Stratford, so that's all right. I go there on a regular basis. Went and visited him and um, got to see his collection. He's got a huge G1 collection. He's got almost all the G1 uh, Transformers. I think he does have all the G1 Transformers, plus a lot of the Japanese exclusives. And it's just a huge Transformers collection. And his Masterpiece Transformers collection is intense. So went over, visited him, really enjoyed the collection, told him about my Optimus, my Pepe Optimus Prime, so he he wanted to photograph it for one of the projects he was working on. I'm like, sure, I'll bring it by. So I brought it by, he photographed it, beautiful pho photography, by the way, just stunning. And uh, nothing else was really said about it. You know, we've kind of talked a little bit here and there since then, uh, but, you know, and then one day I get a message saying, how much would you like for that Optimus Pepsi Optimus Prime. So I did some some research. Uh, I found some people that say it's worth five thousand dollars. Some say it's worth more. It's apparently the holy grail of one of the holy grails of a G1 
transformer collecting. Um, so I didn't know what to say to him. I hemmed and hawed over it for quite a while. And, uh, you know, I know for a fact it's going to go somewhere where it's going to be in good hands. He's got the impressive collection to go with it. It'll complete his collection. It'll be loved. It'll be cherished. It'll be protected. It'll be safe. And I was like, well, Bryce, I, I don't have a G1, a G1 Optimus Prime. It's my only G1 Optimus Prime. And that got me thinking. Okay, I told Bryce, I want a G1 Optimus Prime in mint condition in box. This is for a trade for this guy. Mint inbox. <clears throat> and I started thinking, since it's worth so much and kind of an unknown classification or unknown amount, why not, you know, fix some fix some wrongs and ask him for a few more things? Because I wanted to see how he responded to this, because some of these things that I asked for are not easy to find, they're not super expensive or anything, but I, I, there are things I really wanted. So the Optimus Prime um, mint in box. Actually, I just asked for a G1 Optimus Prime, uh, I believe. I also used to have the original uh, Sludge from the Dinobots. He's the one that turns into the Brontosaurus. Uh, but because th you know, because of my divorce and all that, I never got that one back. Um, and it was one of my favorite toys. My brother Steve gave it to me years ago. I can't remember if it was for my birthday or for Christmas, but it was one of my favorite toys. Uh, and the little, the head of the, the, the brontosaurus was snapped off of mine, so I had it glued on, and, you know, anyway, one of my favorite uh, Transformers. Also one of my favorite Transformers when I was a kid was Sideswipe. Uh, I'm a big Lamborghini fan, I love Lamborghinis, and I wanted a Sideswipe for the longest time. Never ever got one as a kid, um, but as for a Sideswipe as well, I would like a, you know, a good quality mint Sideswipe. So, there you had it. Optimus Prime, Sludge, and Sideswipe. Now, I must have uh, shot low because he's like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll do that. But, you know, um, since then we've kind of become more close friends. He uh, needed to, he, he had bought some Warhammer stuff here in London and didn't want to come pick it up. Well, he, he could have come picked it up, but it would have been easier because I was going to Stratford anyway. He had the guy drop it off here, and then I took it to him. So, you know, we've kind of built this relationship, uh, this friendship up. And um, so what he ended up getting me was a mint inbox Optimus Prime. The box is a little damaged, but the, the Prime inside is mint. Uh, so I've got that coming. I've got another G1 Optimus Prime that's in good condition, that is, is loose out of the package, uh, but it's got everything included. So... It's replacing my G1 Optimus Prime, the only one I have. Uh, <laughs> and then the other one can stay in the box or whatever I want to do with it. Um, so there's those two coming. He also found me one side swipe that had a broken spoiler. So he found another side swipe that was, the stickers were awful. But then he got me a, re, a re, uh, reissued side swipe, which is another one I still don't have. I got a lot of the reissues when they came out too. Didn't get side swipe for some reason. So I'm getting the reissued one in the box, two other side swipes, one with a broken spoiler, which is no big deal when he's in robot mode kind of thing. And he's also giving me a red alert, which is another of the Lamborghinis, uh, Lamborghini Countach's from G1. He's the, the white fire department, fire chief um, Lambo. So I'm getting those three as well. And then I'm also getting Sludge, and Sludge actually comes with um, all of his accessories. Now, my sledge had the gun and the shooting projectile rocket, but I never remembered having the sword. I know I got it new, but I was, I was young, so I don't remember what happened to the sword. I guess I'm getting the sword with that, too. So those are all the ones that I'm getting in, in exchange for this one. And like I said, I don't know what this is worth monetary-wise. I kind of feel bad for letting it go. I really you know, went back and forth with this decision of letting this thing go. I love the fact that this is rare, but I, I'm not a big Pepsi fan. I'm a Coke fan. Um, I don't... I won't necessarily miss it because I'm getting a new one back to replace this one on the shelf. And this guy's in mint condition. This is body's in beautiful shape. Um, as you can see. You can see through. You can see you. But... <clears throat> 
So as I, as I said, I know this is going to a, a, an excellent place, a good collection, a collector, somebody that's going to enjoy it, treat it properly, uh, and know its value, and complete his G1 collection. Uh, so this makes me very happy as well. Plus, you know, we have developed this friendship, so he's a friend now, and I can still go visit it from time to time. And But I love helping him out and uh, adding this to his collection, I think, is really important and something that I needed to do. I'm hesitant to let it go, though, because I'm not sure of the, you know, monetary value, but like I said, I'm not, that doesn't bother me so much because it will be going somewhere where it's going to be loved, so. Now, Bryce's collection actually makes an appearance on The Toys That Made Us. It's that Netflix show about the toys from the 80s and 70s and, you know, The Toys That Made Us, our generation. The newest one, in, or the first episode in Season 2, is... Well, the first episode in season two is Star Trek, but episode two is Transformers. So, in the end credits, you can actually see one or two shots of Bryce's collection because they went and photographed his collection for the show, and it's in the end credits of that episode. So, there you go. I mean, that's that's how much his collection is, you know, a thing. Um, so I'm really happy to contribute this, and, uh, you know, I get my Optimus Prime back, and then some. I get my Sideswipe, I get my, or my childhood toys, um, Sludge back, and I could have asked for all the Dinobots, all the original Dinobots, which I do want, but, you know, I, I wanted to be fair, I didn't want to be, you know, greedy, um, and like I said, there's no real way to find out a price for this thing. I looked through all my Transformers price guides, it says... Oh, they're very rare. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's great. Give me a price. Um, couldn't find anything. Found some message threads that said, oh, up to $10,000 or $5,000 or, you know, one, the one guy's like, if you if somebody offered you $10,000, I would have taken it. There's no way near it. You know, it's near that much. But whatever. I think I'm doing the right thing. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to document it in a captain's log so I could look back on this and go, yeah, I used to own that. You know, should it become legendary at some point? I'd be like, I used to own one of those. And somebody would be like, yeah, sure you did. I'd be like, here it is, see? Pepsi Optimus Prime. ba -bom. And you can reprint the stickers, and but this is original. Um, I don't know how you can tell it's original. 1980, 1982. Hasbro, Takara, Japan. But uh, I think you can tell from the stickers that it's legit, so... That's the story of my G1 Pepsi Optimus Prime and him leaving my collection, which is sad. But as you can see, these are some of my uh, hard hero busts. Uh, I don't have them all. I would have liked to, I'd like to get a few more of those as well. But I'm a huge Transformers fan, as you guys know. My main collection's downstairs. I've done videos where I've cleaned it all um, and kind of walked you through each piece. So if you want to check those out, I'll see about putting a link down below for that. Um, so you can see my Transformers collection, but it's 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 pretty big. And so it's my collection. But anyway, there we go. So that's it for this Captain's Log. I just wanted to uh, kind of document this, and um, yeah, I'm going to miss this guy. Maybe I should give him one last transform and break him in the process. No, I'm just kidding. I love the simplicity of these G1 Transformers. Just their transformations are so easy. So there he is. G1 Pepsi Prime. Put his, both his fists and his gun in the trailer. Put the trailer up. Put those back. There we go. So he's a truck now, and he can, the door is that way, so I'm going to turn him this way and go, transform and roll out. Mm. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channels. Check out other videos. See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.